As you can tell, we are tracking a lot of different kinds of messy weather this morning. The snow is falling. It's on its way out for a small amount of time. Then the freezing rain is on its way. We have some school closings and delays, also a parking ban all scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. As you can imagine, that weather makes for a challenge on the roads, both for drivers and for road crews out there trying to keep them clean for you. Storm Team 27 meteorologist Alex George is at the ODOT facility in Canfield. She joins us live with how they're planning to keep traffic moving. Dan and Lauren, I'm seeing a break in the snow here in Canfield, but as Rich said, more snow, freezing rain on the way this morning, and that means ODOT crews They've got a busy morning ahead of them. I'm joined now here with Rob. He is the transportation manager of ODOT. Thanks for joining us this morning. Can you kind of explain what crews have been doing to keep up with the roads all night long? Uh, crews been out since midnight. Uh, we've had 20 crews out in Mahoning County. Um, they've been plowing and salting where necessary, applying uh, beet heat, um, also applying beet uh, brine where necessary. Have you talked to any of the crews? What are they seeing out there? Um, secondary roads are, are probably snow covered. Uh, a lot of the interstates they're plowing, trying to get them cleaned up as soon as possible. Now, I know a lot of folks, they say they're out driving. They don't necessarily see the trucks, but I know I've seen several trucks here filling the salt back up. How long does it take the trucks to complete the entire route? Um, most of our trucks are about an hour until they complete their uh, complete route and they're back in here to get more salt. And they're going to be out here all morning long? Yes, they'll be out all day long. So we now we know we have snow moving through. We have freezing rain on the way. How does that kind of change the plan for ODOT and the crews? We try to get more salt down on the road so that the roads don't freeze up on us. All right, as folks are getting ready to head out the door, what's your message to drivers? Uh, take it slow and give yourself a little bit of extra time because the roads are probably going to be a little slick in spots. All right, Ron, thank you so much. Uh, on our way to Canfield here, there was a light layer of snow on the road, certainly enough to make it slick. Give yourself some extra time as you're heading out the door this morning. Reporting live in Canfield, Alex George, First News This Morning. Alex, we've been out on the road for the last two hours and you were talking about improving road conditions over time, but right now we haven't really seen a huge difference. We, The good news is we can report the snow has stopped falling. I just brought up a WKBN app and, and showed that the first band has moved out of Ohio and now moving out of Lawrence and Mercer County, but we know that second band is coming. So the roads right now really kind of slick. The, the, now we're on uh, 80 westbound and we have those grooves that the tires of the cars in front of us have kind of cut out for us, but other than that, on either side definitely a slick spot this uh, highway has been reduced to really one lane of traffic and that's what we've seen the same situation on 711 we've been on earlier for 680 as well so the theme this morning if you're going to be out give yourself extra time you can take things slow right now we're cruising right around 40 miles an hour now this road is typically 70 miles an hour but these conditions do not allow that so please if you're going to head out this morning whether it's to work or school Give yourself some extra time. Give yourself some extra room. These road conditions are slushy, and we're just keeping a very close eye on that next band of snow and ice heading our way. But we'll keep you up to date on the road conditions. But for now, live in Trumbull County, I'm meteorologist Matt Jones for 27 First News.